In this video, we'll learn to calculate amounts of compound interest. What is compound interest and how is it different from simple interest? For that reason, I'll contrast simple and compound interest so that you can learn how to work out amounts of compound interest. So I've shown simple interest in blue and compound interest in red. We do use or we get interest when we invest amounts of money. So we're going to assume that we invest in £100 in both cases for the simple and the compound interest. So in year one, at the end of year one, if the percentage of interest that you get is going to be 10, so 10% interest in both cases for both in simple and compound interest, at the end of year one, if you've invested £100, you're going to end up with 110 because £10 is 10% of 100 and that is the interest rate. And the same thing over here, if you receive compound interest, you're going to get £10 extra. So you're going to end up with 110 pounds and we'll show that using a simple method which is called the multiplier method so if i multiply 100 by 1 i'll get just 100 if i multiply 100 by 1.1 which is what this represents then that means we'll get 110 percent so i'll go 100 which is the amount that we're investing, times 1.1, 1 .1, which is the whole part, which is £100, and 0.1 represents the extra 10%. So it is, in other words, 110%. So that gives us 110 pounds. And the same thing on the other side, that's how we work it out. So we've got 100, which is the principal amount or the initial amount, times 1.1, which is 110% converted to decimal, is equal to £110. Now, in year two, what happens in year two? In year two, if you paid simple interest, you're going to get the £100 and the £10 and the £10 because you get 10% no, ma no matter what. So you get, in the, at the end of the first year, you got 10%, which was £10. And at the end of year two, you're going to get an extra £10. So the amount of interest doesn't change. So just by looking at it, you'll know you're going to get £120. But to work it out, we get the initial amount, which was what we invested, times 1.2, because it's 110% in total now. That gives us £120. So up to this point, that's what you had at the end of year one. This is the extra amount that you're getting at the end of year two. And looking at compound interest, what you get in the second year is actually 10% of this whole amount, not 10% of the £100 they invested, but 10% of whatever you accrued at the end of year one. And then in year three, you're going to get 10% of what you had at the end of year two so you get 10% of this whole amount not just the £100 that you invested so that's the difference between simple and compound interest so again to work it out we got £100 that we invested and then we multiplied it by 1.1 which means 10% extra to get that first year figure but now for the second year you're going to multiply this by 1.1 as well because you're looking at find the, that increase of 10% for the amount that 
you had in total at the end of year one. So again, we worked it out here. That was the 10% of the 100. Whatever we invested, that's the 10% that you get all the time. Whereas here you get now an extra 10% of this whole amount. So for that reason, we multiply it by 1.1 and by 1.1 again. So that gives us in total 121 pounds. You see, that's more than the simple interest one. If you want me to explain this in a more simple way as well, we had 100 we got 10% so that was £110 at the end of the first year. The next year you've got now 110 so you're going to get 10% of this amount not the 100 the 110 So 10% of 110 is 11 because we just knock off a zero. So that's what we had. We had 110, added the 11 on top, that makes 121. Now looking at the third year Go into simple interest, we again would just add the £10 on top. So it's going to be 110 and 10 and 10, 130. So 130 pounds, which could be the same as saying just adding 30% on top of the 100 that we got because it's three years, 10 and 10 and 10. So that is 100 times 1.3, that gives us 130 pounds. Whereas over here, you probably expect more now. So we've got the 121 and that's 121. Now we'll add 10% of this 121. So the way to work it out will be, well, just repeat this first, whatever we had. So 100 times 1.1 times 1.1, that gave us 121 we'll multiply that now by 1.1 again because it's the third year and what does that give us we can work it out in our head as well because 121 10 percent of 121 is 12.1 so 12 pound 10 pence so we had 121 add the 12.1 gives us 133.1 which in pounds will be 133 pounds and 10 pence so again comparing it with simple interest we've got more money with compound interest so what do you notice here how did we work it out so we had 100 first which was the initial amount so always comes the initial amount so 100 times by where did we get that 1.1 why is that 1.1 uh, so that's decimal form of 110 percent so 100 because if you multiply it just by 10 percent it's going to give you only the small amount we want the 100 and the 10 percent on top that's why we say 1.1 rather than 0 0.1 so times 1.1 because 10 percent was the interest rate so if the interest rate was um, 2%, we would have 1.02. And how many times was this repeated? It was 1, 2, 3, because it was 3 years. So, And we know that the short form of doing this will be with a 3 at the top, to the power of 3. So that, if I just input that into the calculator, that should give me the same answer so we'll do that together so we go 100 times 1.1 to the power of 3 so that gives us that gives us 133.1 which is the same as 133 pounds and 10 pence so we'll do another example. So we've got £1,500, which will be invested. Let's look at one example. So we've got 
um, £1,500 to invest and it will be of um, five years at 3% compound interest rate. So we'll do 1,500, which is the initial amount, multiplied by 1.03. So it's adding three pennies on top of the, of the pound. And then that will be with a five at the top, which means to the power of five, because this would be repeated five times. So we get a calculator to work it out. So 1,500 multiplied by 1.03 to the power of five, which gives us 1,738 pounds and 91 pence. Now, if you didn't have a scientific calculator, you could have just done 1,500 times 1.03 times 1.03 times 1.03 times 1.03 times 1.03 so five times because it's five years and that gives us exactly the same amount just be careful to not put 0 0.03 because that's going to dramatically reduce the initial amount rather than increase it which means that it's going to give you only the three percent rather than the 3% on top of the 100. And let's look at a final example. Let's say we're uh, investing £15,272 over two years. So at the end of year one, you'd get um, 5%. And at the end of year two, you'd get 4.5% compound interest. So what do we multiply? So we start as always with the initial amount which is 15,272 multiply that by 1.05 because that's 5% on top of the initial amount and then multiply that by 1.044 so that is four and a half percent. So four percent would be 1.04, just like four pennies on top of a pound, and then a half of it comes after the four. So that is 1.045. Plug that into the calculator. 5272 times 1.05 times 1.045, and that gives us a total of. Sixteen thousand seven hundred and fifty seven pounds and twenty pence.